You guys were a lot of fun yesterday, so I had some more questions. I, I value this time with you guys. Uh, first thing I'm going to get to, you talked, uh, actually you talked to Nick over there yesterday and something caught my interest. You were talking about how uh, you had this mentality of like your, your wrestling matches had to be like an art piece and it had to be like this thing and then, you know, getting away from that mentality. Uh, and you know, now embracing the silly side, the entertainment side. How hard, it, you know, as an amateur wrestler, both of you can answer this, but how hard was it to break that mentality and finally, you know, get to a place where you're, you're not trying to be a wrestler coming into sports entertainment, but you are embracing the, the pro wrestling side sure. of it? Yeah, it, I mean, extremely hard for someone like me, not, not just because of like the amateur wrestling part of it, but I was, I mean, Full, full disclosure, like I was a f total wrestling geek when I was a kid, like obsessed with tape trading, like um, all kinds of Japanese wrestling, Mexican wrestling, Lucha Libre. Like, so to me, like that's why I meant, mean when I say I wanted everything to be this perfect art form of a match like I was like I fell in love with. But then, like, I think the biggest part of it was not just like breaking the barrier, but more so just like understanding what we do here in WWE. You know, and we tell stories and we connect with the audience and we provide entertainment to a group, a various group of people in age ranges. So it's not necessarily like if we're talking about my job and what I do here for this company, it's not always just to put on these amazing matches. It's to do those other things I just mentioned. So it was more just accepting the fact that like, hey, the place you work for, you've got more than just wrestling to do. You've got a lot of other value to provide to people. And I think that was what helped me bridge the gap. I think it was kind of natural. Uh, 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 Briscoe could say this to, uh, he goes, he wasn't a great wrestler, but everybody on he was, he was wrestling on the mat. That's my impression. Everybody had his eyes on because they knew it was going to be some kind of fist fight or some kind of, you know, he just had that swagger. So um, for me, the, the kind of like just the, I don't know, like just being in the ring and kind of like cameras and all that are more natural. But like with the wrestling for me, it was kind of like body control. And it's also don't really squeeze that hard, baby. You know what I mean? Make the face, but don't squeeze too hard. There's an old muscle memory gone wrong. So we, we finally, you know, unless I'm really mad at somebody like Gunther. The other thing that I thought of when I heard you say that was Kurt Angle has been open about you know, he didn't want to be a pro wrestler because he was like, well, I want to win every match. And then sure. he finally broke that train of thought. So, you know, good company to be in. Sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's it was so comforting to hear, too. And like, fortunately for me, uh, I don't know why or what it is in me that never like struggled with that. Like as far as, oh, I should be winning every match. I should be winning every match. I don't know if it's because of the size thing that I came in with the mentality that like it just ain't going to happen. And I kind of knew that already, but it, it is. I mean, it's nice to know that like other guys that and guy like Kurt that actually paved the way for me went through the same struggle and had to like cope with it and come to this acceptance. I mean, it is. It's a hard gap to bridge, man, when you're at that level of an amateur sport where, you know, your identity and your life kind of rides on your success and your your ability to produce results. But we're here now. It's it's different. We produce a TV show. So it's it's cool. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet. A uh, couple more questions for you guys. Uh, I, I do a watch list feature where I, I ask for match picks. Do you have a match? together or uh just maybe you have a different match uh that you guys really felt like you were finally on the same page because obviously you were in a, a team with jason before you yeah. were with yeah. uh tucky uh is there a match that you, or maybe a couple matches where you were like all right we're really in sync we're really finding what this team is yeah. or what it needs to be you know what and <sighs> the first match that comes to mind where like and it's it's weird because it's what the match we won the titles but it's the first match where i felt like we were made whole as, as a team because even all the way up to that point we've done a lot of stuff even as heels and like we did some stuff in the thunderdome era and all this where we were doing matches but like i don't know it felt like we were just still two singles guys kind of uh you know, thrown together or just trying to work it out. And we were just doing whatever they needed us to do. But that night in Philadelphia against Randy and like the way that Randy helps, you know, put stuff together and makes everything make so much sense and get the most out of the least. Like 
we felt like we were a team that night for the first time, like real team, like everything functioned properly. It was just clicking. And so like that, that was like, I felt like our launching point. I believe the, uh, not, not with wrestling, but definitely with uh, the uh, cer our first uh, ceremony or graduation for me was, uh, it was a very, uh, like we, we were gifted a lot of time for that. And uh, I remember just like going like, man, we're basically just doing what we do in the car. Like, I know he's memorizing a lot of stuff because I'm very good at memorizing. Um, but like, it's just crazy how it's just like, it didn't even feel like work at all. It was just like us doing what we do. Um, and of course, was, who would better do with uh, Rated RK Bro? Then we got to the back. It was funny because Vince was like, my God, the promo. My God, the chemistry of you two. Mm. And I just was like, yes, sir. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's a good point to echo that, like that whole period, which kind of started with what the match I talked about is like we, when I started getting the verbiage and the scripts and stuff in that character, when I started this, I, I finally got to the point very quickly there where I, that was it for us. Like I knew I didn't even need that stuff anymore. It's like I could do this stuff with my like this character with my eyes closed and he can play off me and I can play off him with my eyes closed. I mean, he spelled the freaking word wrong in the spelling bee. OK, whether or not people caught that, but we made it work anyway. OK, well, you're not going to tell him he spelled the word wrong, are you? That face. And everyone's like, that was great, but you couldn't get the word right now. I was like, I did. <laughs> All that to say, I mean, at that point in time, I think we were clicking so much that like we could just make anything work. It felt really good. I, I can't let you go without asking about this. There's a lot. There's Freddie, Jason, Michael Myers. Just point blank. We, we've already gotten Freddie versus Jason. Who wins? Uh, Everybody on here. Everybody on here? Everybody on here. We already got the movie, but who wins? Man, Jason is such a machine. Um... I think it would come down to him and Michael. I think uh, if it's the Halloween Kills, Michael would win because he was a monster in that one. But I think Jason just is blue collar. We're at the camp. I drowned. I've come back to life. Slicers, my mom was beheaded. I mean, there's a lot of emotion behind that mask. You just don't see through those eyes. I think Michael's just cold and Jason has the love and the power and just uh, completely gonna like slice Michael Myers down, baby. Yeah, I mean, you can, I can't argue with that, but that's the kind of thoughts that I deal with in the car every night, like when we're watching this stuff. Ball rats, I just have the stupidest ideas. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing that, that, that's even helping the world or anything. Thank you guys, I appreciate Thanks. it. Uh,